Kevin, today we're going to be kind of explaining how I keep kind of entertained in the apartment since we're all in quarantine. It can be very hard, especially for high high energy working breeds like he is. He's a mix of Lab, Chow, Ductile Retriever, and Border Collie, which are all working breeds, and he himself is a working dog. So keeping a working dog entertained when they're stuck in a 600 square foot apartment is not the easiest thing. That's where toys come in. So I'm sitting on one side of my apartment. He'll run back and forth to the other end. Sit. Good boy. Get. And I'll just throw his toy down to the end, wait till he comes back, put out an empty hand so he can give it to me, and throw the next one. And we'll do this for about 20 or 30 minutes. Good boy. Get it. Oh. I didn't hold on to that one very well. I have a whole stockpile of toys next to me in case one does go flying. Go get it. And I'm sure you can see on the floor, there's like three or four already on the floor down there. I know you like that one. That one, that one was from your bark box, huh? Get it. And to keep him kind of thinking and entertained, I'll throw him up under the chair, under his bed, just so he has to work to get them. Go get it. If you work their mind and body, they'll tire out quite quickly. Let's see, he's working out how to get it from under his bed. Good boy. Get it. Good boy. Get it. And once we're done playing fetch, after about 20, 30 minutes or until he starts acting like he's getting tired, go get it. Go on. We'll sit him down with a Kong or a puzzle toy and make him work his brain for a little bit. A tired dog is a happy dog, especially when they're stuck in quarantine. As you can see, that one kind of went above my wheelchair and fell through. So it's just kind of making him work. I'm getting them out. Go get it. Go on. So once he's starting to tire out, which he's starting to, we've already been doing this for about 15 minutes. Once he gets tired out, we'll switch over to puzzle games and something calm and relaxing. And then after his puzzle game is done, I'll give him something to chew on. And by that point, he'll probably be asleep. Get it. Go get it. I know, this is your favorite. Drop it. Go get it. As you can see, he's starting to get tired. He's not running as much. So after this, we'll probably just do our puzzle game. Drop it. Go get it. And if he doesn't want to drop it, if he wants to play tug, I'll just throw another toy to distract him. I don't want to teach Comet to tug because he does retrievals. And I don't want him playing tug with my medicine or anything. Go get it. Go get it. Good boy. Comet per prefers squeaky toys. Most of his toys have some kind of squeaker in it. Though he does like ropes and balls as well. Good boy. Did you get your second win? Go get it. As you can see, I threw it under his bed, under the chair, so he kind of has to work out how to get it. Good boy. Go get it. And if you're wondering what toys I'm using today, <clears throat> this is a Hyper Pet tennis ball. It came in a pack of three. It was off Amazon. I'll link it below. And this is just a dummy toy that we got from the Dollar Tree for Easter. They came in this Easter basket. Good boy. Get it. And then the other one we were using as part of his bark box. It came in our Halloween set. Go on, go get it. Kama absolutely loves his bark boxes. That's where 95% of his toys came from. They're really strong and sturdy. He's not a super big chewer. Usually a, he'll turn more towards the edible chews, like his cookies and stuff, than he will towards chewing on his toys. So most of his toys have held up. Go get it. Go get it. Sit. Good boy. Get it. Get it. Go get it. What you doing, Bubba? Are you getting tired? Mwah. Oh, thank you for the cuddles. Oh, good boy. 
The next thing we do after his physical exercise, which he did about 20 minutes today, is our puzzle game. I like to use these dog treats. They're from a local bakery. They're really minimal, minimal ingredients. They just have whole wheat flour, rolled oats, vegetable oil, and peanut butter powder. These absolutely are Comet's favorites. One of my family members gave them to me for Easter for him. And I just break these in half for his puzzle game. Wait. I'm just going to fill each one of these little holes for him. This game is a little tough for Comet just because he's not the best at nose work. Which is a little funny considering most of his alerts are nose work. Alright, go ahead. Good boy. And we'll do a puzzle game and just one round of the puzzle game. It usually takes him long enough to kind of calm down after his session of exercise. Good boy. Boy. And this toy was off of Chewy.com. This is not sponsored. I just love Chewy because it delivers right to my door. It's super simple. I used to get his kibble from there when he was on kibble. Um, and I'll link that down below as well. I believe it was only like 10 or 11 bucks when I bought it. It might have went up in price since then. I've had this one about a year. The only complaint I have is it is easy to push around, so he sometimes has trouble pushing the little slides. He accidentally pushes the toy instead. Good boy. Search. Good boy, yes. He's only got two more holes out of the out of the ten to go, so he's already found eight of the treats out of the ten. Search. Yes, good boy. Search. He sometimes has harder with the ones further away from him. He doesn't quite understand the concept that he has to pull them. Found it. Search. Yes, good boy. And now as they're all empty, I'm pretty sure. Yep, it's all empty. Good boy. All right, and last step to our morning routine, our exercise routine is a Kong or a chew bone of some sort. He's been doing bones and antlers for the last few days, so I thought a Kong would be a really great toy. Stay. I'm just using off-brand peanut butter. Before anyone comes at me and says, oh, peanut butter isn't good for your dog. They're just talking about the sugar-free ones that have xylitol or urethritol in them because urethritol and xylitol are toxic to dogs. This one is literally just dry roasted peanuts and salt. He's had... Plenty of this in his lifetime. He absolutely loves peanut butter. Place. Good boy. If you see me looking off to the side, Comet's bed is right to the side of this table. I just use a knife. I usually make my own Kong filling. I just wasn't feeling well last night and didn't think about it. 
most of the time I freeze those Kongs just so it takes a little bit longer. Instead of 20 minutes to empty the Kong, it takes them close to an hour and really makes them think and work it out. And before anyone goes, ew, that's gross, you're using the same peanut butter as yourself, he actually gets his own peanut butter now just because a lot of people did comment on how gross it was that he and I were sharing a peanut butter, even though his Kong is always clean. Every time he uses it, I wash it. Quiet. Good boy. So now he just gets his own little jar. Quiet. I know you're excited. You don't usually get peanut butter in the morning. Quiet. Oh, I know. Good boy. Quiet. Quiet. Lay down. Good boy. Quiet. As you can see, it's just filled up to the top. I'll make him lay down for it. Calm it down. Good boy. And then I'll just give it that to him on his crate or in his crate or on his cot either way. Thank you so much for watching, guys. That is our morning routine. We typically do that two times a day now that we're in quarantine. When he was working, we would only do it in the morning just to kind of help him chill out and relax. Um, this can be used even when you're not in quarantine. When we weren't in quarantine, we would do a 45-minute walk and then a puzzle game and then his Kong or a bone. Now that we're in quarantine, we're breaking that up in two sessions throughout the day just so he doesn't get full of energy. Um, you guys can adapt this however you see fit. Maybe your dog doesn't like peanut butter. Maybe they don't like toys. You know your dog best, and you'll be able to decide what's best for them. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye, guys.